the Samudra Manthan, a cornerstone of Hindu mythology, unfolds as a grand cosmic drama intertwining gods, demons, divine alliances, eternal struggles, and the quest for immortality. This ancient tale reveals the delicate balance between creation and destruction in Hindu philosophy, offering insights into the nature of existence and the cosmic order. The story appears in various Hindu texts, including the Bhagavata Purana, the Mahabharata, and the Vishnu Purana, with each version adding nuanced details while maintaining the core narrative. In the celestial realms, a crisis of immense proportions unfolded. The devas, led by Indra, once mighty and immortal, found themselves weakened and vulnerable due to a powerful curse cast upon them by the sage Durvasa. The curse had its origins in a moment of Indra's pride. When presented with a garland of divine flowers by the sage, Indra carelessly placed it on his elephant's trunk. The elephant, unaware of its significance, trampled the garland underfoot, deeply offending Durvasa. In his wrath, the sage cursed the devas to lose their immortality and strength. As the curse took hold, their celestial radiance dimmed, their powers waned, and the very essence of their immortality began to slip away. Vishnu, the preserver of the universe, observed this growing imbalance with deep concern. The weakening of the devas could lead to chaos and destruction on a universal scale. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, Vishnu devised a plan that would require an unprecedented alliance between the devas and their sworn enemies, the asuras. This unlikely partnership would be the key to restoring harmony to the cosmos, though it came with great risks and challenges. Vishnu proposed churning the cosmic ocean itself to obtain Amrita, the nectar of immortality. This divine elixir would restore the devas' strength and immortality, rebalancing the cosmic scales. The devas, led by Indra, and the asuras, motivated by their desire for power and immortality, reluctantly agreed to join forces, each seeing potential benefits in this cosmic endeavor. As they prepared for the monumental task, both sides grappled with internal conflicts and suspicions. The divas, once proud and aloof, now found themselves dependent on their foes for survival. The asuras, ever ambitious and power-hungry, saw an opportunity for gaining cosmic dominance but remained wary of deception from their divine counterparts. The asuras faced complex internal conflicts. Many among them harbored deep-seated resentment towards the divas, believing they had been unfairly relegated to a lower status in the cosmic hierarchy. This churning presented an opportunity to upset the established order and claim their rightful place in the universe. However, some asuras were torn between their desire for power and a grudging respect for the cosmic balance that Vishnu sought to maintain. This internal struggle within the asura ranks added layers of tension and unpredictability to the already precarious alliance. The churning began with Mount Mandara, a colossal peak, serving as the churning rod. Vasuki, the mighty serpent king, offered himself as the rope to rotate the mountain. As preparations commenced, a critical problem arose. The immense weight of Mount Mandara threatened to sink it into the depths of the cosmic ocean. Vishnu intervened, transforming into Kurma, an enormous turtle of cosmic proportions. With great effort, Kurma dove into the fathomless depths and positioned himself beneath Mount Mandara, supporting its immense weight on his impenetrable shell. With the foundation set, the devas grasped Vasuki's tail while the asuras held its head. As they pulled back and forth in a cosmic tug of war, the mountain began to rotate, churning the vast cosmic ocean. The scene was one of incredible might and determination with celestial beings straining against colossal forces. The air crackled with divine energy and the waters of the cosmic ocean began to froth and swirl with increasing intensity. For a thousand years, the churning continued unabated. The cosmic ocean frothed and swirled, its waters infused with the essence of creation itself. As the churning intensified, its effects rippled through all of creation. Stars flickered in the heavens, planets trembled in their orbits, and the very fabric of the universe quivered under the strain of this monumental act. The divas and asuras, 
Despite their growing exhaustion, persevered, driven by the promise of immortality and power. Their combined efforts demonstrated the profound interconnectedness of all things in the cosmos, as each pull and push sent waves of change cascading through existence. Suddenly, a crisis of cataclysmic proportions erupted. From the depths of the cosmic ocean emerged Halahala, a poison of such potency that it could annihilate all of creation. The churning ocean released this lethal substance, which began to spread rapidly, endangering gods, demons, and the universe alike. In this moment of dire peril, Lord Shiva stepped forward. Without hesitation or regard for his own safety, he gathered the deadly halahala in his hands and swallowed the poison, saving creation from certain annihilation. The poison was so potent that it turned his throat blue, earning him the name Nilakantha, the blue-throated one. Shiva's selfless act demonstrated the necessity of confronting and containing destructive forces to maintain cosmic balance, highlighting the interconnectedness of creation and destruction in the grand cosmic design. As the churning neared its climax, Vishnu sensed a growing imbalance that threatened to destabilize the already fragile alliance between the Devas and Asuras. In response to this looming crisis, Vishnu enacted another divine plan, he transformed into Mohini, a female avatar of incomparable beauty and charm. Mohini's appearance captivated both devas and asuras alike, momentarily diffusing the mounting tensions and redirecting their focus from conflict to admiration. This timely intervention showcased Vishnu's role as the preserver of dharma, employing subtlety and diplomacy rather than brute force to maintain cosmic order. The manifestation of Mohini highlighted the concept of gender fluidity in Hindu mythology, challenging rigid notions of gender and power. As Vishnu effortlessly assumed this female form, the myth illustrated that strength and wisdom come in many forms, transcending physical appearances and preconceived notions. Mohini's beauty and intelligence became powerful tools for maintaining cosmic balance, demonstrating that adaptability and transformation are key to preserving harmony in the universe. With grace and cunning, Mohini proposed to distribute the Amrita fairly between the Devas and Asuras. However, using her divine charm and cleverness, she ensured that the Devas received the lion's share of the nectar, thus restoring their immortality and power. This act preserved the cosmic balance, preventing the Asuras from gaining too much power while ensuring the Divas could continue their role as protectors of the universe. The distribution of Amrita marked the zenith of tension between the Divas and Asuras. When an Asura named Rahu disguised himself as a Diva to receive the Amrita, the tension exploded into open conflict. Surya and Chandra, the sun and moon gods, exposed Rahu's deception leading to Vishnu's swift action in decapitating the demon. This incident further inflamed the Asura's resentment, solidifying the eternal conflict between the forces of light and darkness in Hindu cosmology. The Samudra Manthan culminated in a series of profound cosmic changes that would shape the Hindu understanding of the universe for millennia to come. From the churning ocean emerged various divine beings and objects, each embodying different aspects of creation and cosmic principles. Lakshmi, the radiant goddess of fortune and prosperity, rose from the waters, choosing Vishnu as her eternal consort. Her emergence was a sight of unparalleled beauty and divine grace. As she ascended from the frothing waters, a cascade of golden light enveloped her form. Lakshmi's appearance brought the promise of abundance and well-being to the world her very presence instilling hope and joy in all who beheld her. Ukaishravas, the magnificent divine seven-headed horse, symbol of power and speed, sprang forth from the churning waters. This celestial steed became a symbol of royal power and divine favor. Danvantari, the divine physician and father of Ayurveda, appeared holding the precious pot of Amrita, bringing the knowledge of healing and longevity to the world. The churning also gave birth to Rahu and Ketu, celestial bodies associated with eclipses, adding new dimensions to the cosmic order and the understanding of celestial phenomena. The Kaustuba gem, the most valuable jewel in the universe, emerged and adorned Vishnu's chest, symbolizing divine splendor and cosmic consciousness. 
This gem was a marvel to behold, a brilliant blue stone that seemed to contain the very essence of the cosmos within its facets. It glowed with an inner light that pulsed in rhythm with the universe itself. When it came to rest on Vishnu's chest, it seemed to merge with his divine form, enhancing his role as the preserver of cosmic order. The immediate aftermath of the Samudra Manthan saw a restored cosmic balance, with the Divas regaining their immortality and strength. However, the Asura's resentment deepened, setting the stage for ongoing cosmic conflicts. The emergence of divine beings and objects enriched the Hindu pantheon and established fundamental principles of cosmic order, health, wealth, and knowledge. Philosophically, the Samudra Manthan exemplifies several key Hindu concepts. It illustrates the interconnectedness of creation and destruction, the importance of balance in the universe, and the cyclical nature of existence. The myth serves as a metaphor for spiritual growth, suggesting that one must churn through life's challenges to attain enlightenment. It also reinforces the concept of dharma or cosmic duty, showing how even divine beings must strive to maintain universal order. In Hindu traditions, the Samudra Manthan continues to inspire devotional practices, artistic expressions, and philosophical discussions. It reminds practitioners of the eternal struggle between light and darkness, the power of cooperation in facing cosmic challenges, and the ultimate triumph of divine order over chaos. The tale's enduring relevance lies in its ability to encapsulate fundamental truths about the nature of reality, the role of divinity, and the human condition, making it a cornerstone of Hindu mythology and philosophy.